Uh, my name is Koichi Sasada. Uh, I'm uh, one of Ruby Hero. So uh, let's start with this question. So, have you ever thought Ruby is slow? Please raise your hand if you see oh, so many people. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the quick answer, quick answer. I I prepare the answers. The quick answer is try latest MRI. So the, the virtual machines are uh, optimized. Uh, so the MRI op uh, contains optimized virtual machines. So Ruby 1.9 and later increments the uh, virtual machine virtual machine techniques. So uh, maybe it is faster than before. And also uh, Ruby 2.3 we released at the last December uh, also includes many improvement performance improvements. So please try it. So that's the virtual machines are uh, written by uh, Koichi Sasada. Uh, hmm. He he do good good things. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, have you ever thought that Ruby's GC is slow? How many people? Uh, only a few. Ah, so many people. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the quick answer is try right, uh, Ruby one, Ruby two one and, and raters. So these. Uh, uh, the, the uh, latest MRI in, con, uh, implements the generational and incremental techniques to uh, create, to, uh, to increase the throughput and the, to reduce the garbage collection post time. So maybe, so please measure your garbage collection time and maybe recent uh, MRI, so garbage collection is not so slow, I hope. So such uh, uh, techniques are implemented by Koichi Sasada. Oh, he's a very active. <laughs> and next, next question is Ruby. Uh, so, uh, so how many people uh, think that uh, Ruby and Ruby on Rails boot time is too slow? Oh, so many people. OK, thank you. So quick answer is uh, please check out this presentation. <laughs> so this presentation is uh, uh, talked by uh, Koichi Sasada. So me, it's me. So I'm a programmer living in uh, Tokyo, Japan, and I'm, I'm a member of Ruby Core uh, Committer uh, since 2007. Uh, and I got uh, Ruby Hero Awards today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, uh, I'm a member of uh, Salesforce Heroku. So this is a imp uh, very important information that uh, we have uh, uh, Heroku Office Awards. So please stop by uh, this time as Heroku booth today. Okay, Hero, uh, so Heroku employs many uh, open source contributors, uh, not, not, about, uh, not only about Ruby, but uh, many other languages. Uh, however, uh, so, but, but especially for Ruby, we, uh, Heroku employs three full-time uh, committers. So three, Matt, and Nob, and me. So we named, uh, this is Matt's team. So, uh, so Nob, is a, a Ruby hero, and uh, Koichi has, uh, so I, I got a Ruby hero today. So I found that uh, he has no title. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I asked Aaron, so how, so what's, what happened? So he, so Aaron uh, got, uh, so Matsumoto Yuki hero award. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Okay. So the, uh, our mission of uh, our, our mission is design Ruby language and improve the quality of MRI. So, in, so design Ruby language is the the Matt's job. So he designed Ruby three, and the improvement. So improve quality means uh, several. Uh, so it has several meanings. Uh, so for example, fixing the bugs and uh, release stable versions is uh, one biggest thing, biggest job. And uh, uh, improve the speed performance is also uh, uh, our uh, important job. So this is uh, this is my uh, my job. And uh, for example, uh, reduce the uh, uh, resource consumption, uh, such as the memory consumptions, is also important thing. So latest achievement is Ruby 3, 2.3 at last uh, Christmas, last December. 
and the next challenge is Ruby 2.4. We will release uh, uh, this release uh, next next Christmas, I think. And uh, the biggest challenge is Ruby 3, the next next big step of Ruby language. I'm not sure uh, when Ruby 3 is released, but <laughs> Uh, Matsumoto-san must say that uh, he wants to release Ruby 3 before Ori Tokyo Olympic Game. Tokyo Olympic Game will have the, uh, 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 2020, uh, uh, 2020. So I'm not sure we can do that, but he want, he hopes so. He ho hopes so. The, the, so. Uh, so this presentation is not about uh, uh, such a uh, Ruby 3 designing talk. So if you have any question, uh, so please ask me later. So I'm very shy, so please tell me. <laughs> so back to the uh, main topic, the, the question. So maybe you feel that the Ruby boot time is Ruby or, or big latest application boot time is slow. So there is a miss. So if we have an uh, head time compiler, the pre-compilation supports, the boot, boot time pro problems will be solved. So I think it is uh, some optimistic uh, thoughts that, so I use this font. So let's try. So today I want to talk about the uh, pre-compilation primitives uh, with con uh, content in Ruby 3, uh, Ruby 2.3. And uh, we, uh, and also I introduce a uh, Yomi Komu Gem, uh, it is uh, example implementation using such a uh, pre-compilation primitives. So it is one of uh, uh, pre-compilation controller. And also we sh uh, I show the evaluation result on uh, let my boot time. So primitives I, I want to show you. So before the introdu introduction of uh, uh, pre so loop 2.3, Primitives. I want to categorize the uh, uh, compilers. So we have two types of compilers: uh, just-in-time compilers and ahead-of-time compilers. So just-in-time compilers uh, can uh, compile some uh, bytecode or some some uh, internal representation to more efficient code at runtime. So we can correct uh, runtime statistics information. So such information uh, helps to uh, optimize program. So this is uh, just-in-time compiler is one of uh, big goal of Ruby 3. But today I want to talk about ahead of time compiler or pre-compilers. So usually we, if we say compiler then, so it will be uh, such a ahead of time compilers. So program, uh, so such a compilers, AOT compilers, uh, creates a native machine code uh, like C language. So if we use uh, GCC, then we can compile Ruby so uh, C source code to the machine code. And also we can com uh, translate uh, some, some source code to the another source code. It also says that compilers. And also, we have some compilers generate uh, a persistent bytecode, like Java, uh, Java C. Java C compiles Java source code to the Java class file. At the Ruby's case, we the target of this this session is a uh, uh, Ruby virtual machine uh, instruction sequence. So our compiler's target is here, this one. So instruction sequence is a uh, or uh, shortly ISEC is uh, Ruby's bytecode. So all of Ruby programs are compared to instruction sequences. And MRI, MRI makes uh, instruction sequence at boot time. Before, uh, without pre-compilation uh, pre support, it is easy to understand. So maybe we have uh, many, many uh, Ruby scripts. So, gem, so gems, so uh, Ruby gems contains many, many uh, source, Ruby source codes, and your application is consists by your uh, source codes. So Ruby source script is uh, passed at and compiled at the runtime, and we can get uh, our bytecode or instruction sequences. 
So such a uh, insertion sequence is evaluated by virtual machines. So this is a normal uh, execution flow. So Ruby 2.3 or before uh, earlier uh, do such a thing. Using pre-compilation pre support, we can skip uh, parsing and compile time. So for uh, so pre-compilation uh, utility or controller compiles Ruby source code, Ruby scripts, uh, before executing the applications. So compiled by, uh, so we, pre-compilation utility generates pre uh, compiled binary uh, before uh, your application's invocation. So the application only need to load such a compiled binary and uh, get and get uh, Ruby's bytecodes or insertion sequences. So today I want to uh, I want to make such a thing, such a uh, pre-compilation utilities. So purpose of uh, pre-compilation. So we I I can imagine three types of purpose. So first boot I already said. So we we want to reduce the boot time and reduce memory consumption and migrate compiled code to as another another node, so another machine. But uh, today's goal is uh, uh, fast boot and reduce uh, memory consumption. So this is be because we don't support uh, migrate so compiled binary migration. So this is out of scope of this uh, project. So uh, so this is because we can't we can't trust. Uh, sorry, we can't notice not not, uh, not good English. So we can't trust binaries by other. So for example, Java class file is portable one. So be, uh, because uh, Java bytecode is, uh, so Java bytecode of Java virtual machine has uh, verifi verifi verifier support uh, to, uh, for not trusted uh, bytecode. So, we, so I assume that uh, we can't trust any other nodes. So this topic uh, is close to the uh, one machine. So I already said that uh, uh, the one goal is fast boot, so we can skip the uh, pass and compile time. And uh, uh, I want to I want to solve also uh, memory consumption. So this is a uh, uh, statistics of the uh, small uh, Rails application. So on this application, uh, fifteen percent of uh, total uh, memory consumption is consumed by uh, instruction sequences. So it's only 20 megabytes. It's only 20 megabytes, but if we make a multiple processes, so if we fork or uh, if we invoke uh, same uh, processes, then we need to uh, copy the bytecodes. So we need to, uh, so ideally, so we can share, so if we can share the, such a bytecode representation, so we are happy to reduce, uh, we are happy, so we, we can reduce the uh, memory consumption. So this is a, uh, this, uh, this fast boot and uh, reduce the memory consumption is our goal, today's goal. So let's talk about the uh, design and implementation of primitives. So we, so we need to implement uh, uh, two components. So serialize and the serialize for uh, instruction sequence, and also utility to control uh, pre-compilations. So we need to define, we need to decide when to compile script and when, uh, where or how to store compiled binaries. So at first I want to show about the uh, uh, serializer and the serializer for instruction sequences. So it is a very uh, small character, but uh, maybe you can understand. So we need to get, uh, we need to, uh, we need to implement the serializer and and the serializer. So one Ruby process can uh, can uh, make a compiled binary uh, using the serializer. So each instruction sequence. Uh, so we, we need to translate 
uh, instruction sequence to the compiled binary and store to the file or somewhere. And uh, we need to load uh, such a compiled binary uh, to use such a instruction sequences. So uh, at this two uh, place, we need to make, we need to use a serializer and a deserializer. So before uh, talking about uh, uh, details, uh, I want to sh show it, uh, uh, some backgrounds. So instruction sequence is a tree. So it means that uh, Ruby script has many, many, uh, so one Ruby script has uh, many uh, ins instruction sequences. So it means that uh, each scope has uh, each own instruction sequences. So top of Ruby, uh, top, top level of Ruby script has its own uh, instruction sequences, and there is a uh, class expressions. So class expression also has a, uh, uh, also has a, uh, each own ex uh, ins instruction sequence. So top level has, so for example, top 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 level uh, instruction sequence uh, pointed to the. Uh, Instruction sequence for C1 and uh, class C1 and class C2, and if the class C1 uh, defines the method M1 and M2, uh, so class uh, instruction sequence for class C1, class C1 need to uh, contain uh, instruction sequence for M1 and M2. So this is a basic of instruction sequence. There is there are many uh, empty seats, so please sit down. So, using the uh, such a uh, uh, so so to uh, to uh, compile to the uh, compiled binary data form data, so we, we need to specify the compiled binary data formats. So I don't show details about that, but so this uh, this picture shows an uh, uh, overview of the specification. So please understand that our, it, is work, it, it works. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, explain details. Uh, so it is similar to the Java class file formats. So the important thing is, uh, uh, so it only use uh, a machine dependent data. So we can't migrate compiled data to the, uh, another node. Okay. So the basic is over. So I want to introduce some optimization techniques uh, named lazy loading. So mo most of programs, so you don't need to uh, load uh, instruction sequence, every instruction sequences. So for example, if you require the file utils, so maybe uh, you, uh, you use uh, file utils many many times. So file utils has uh, many many methods, and also maybe only one or two methods you you really need. So this technique is a uh, technique uh, load such a uh, such a uh, actual needed methods, only uh, only need needed methods. So it, this is similar to the autoload method. So you you can. You can specify this. This file is uh, so. This file should be required uh, lazily or not. But the good point is we can. We don't need to care about that. So interpreter do everything. So automatically, so lazy. Uh, we we can define the. Uh, uh, we can use uh, lazy techniques. So let's talk. Uh, uh, let's explain with these uh, pictures. So if we have a, a Ruby script such, such as and uh, make a compiled binary contains uh, one, two, three, four, five instruction sequences. So as the load time, uh, making make maker uh, interpreter makes uh, um, empty top level instruction sequence, and uh, when we need to. Uh, we need to run the instruction, uh, run this instruction sequence. So, load 
this top level instruction sequence and make empty class one and class two instruction sequences and evaluate top level instruction sequence. At this line, so when we need to uh, evaluate the class expression C1 for C1, we load the, uh, the instruction sequence for C1 and uh, also, we need to uh, make a uh, dummy empty instruction sequence for the M1 and M2. And this line invokes the instruction uh, method of M2, so uh, load M2 instruction sequence. After that, uh, load the class, uh, so execute the class expressions. So we need to uh, load uh, class C2 instruction sequence. So this is over. So we we don't need to require, uh, uh, we don't need to load uh, instruction sequence for M1 because M1, method M1 is not uh, invoked, not used. So this is a technique of lazy loading. So I want to introduce the uh, uh, actual interfaces. So we need to define, we need to decide the uh, uh, compiled timing and location of the compiled binary. So some, uh, com some compiler need to uh, invoke the compilers explicitly, so GCC for C language or, or Java C for Java language or, and, and so on. So, so we, so one option is uh, using the compiler explicitly, and also uh, compiling uh, at loading time is also an, another option. So Rubinians make a uh, RB, make make a RBC file if the uh, file is not compiled. Also Python uh, make py, uh, PYC files on the same directories. We need to uh, define the location of compiled binaries. Uh, so, one. Uh, so, we, I, I think three options. So, one is uh, uh, locate a file, a compiled file, in, in the same directory of uh, each Ruby files, and also uh, we can make uh, uh, one specific di directory and. Con uh, put every method, uh, every compiled binary to the, this specific binaries. And we can use a database. So there are many, many, so many options. So, so many options, so I cannot define the, the best one. So we de decide to only provide the primitives. So you can make uh, such a uh, pre-compilation tools using such a primitives. So we provide the serialized and deserialized APIs and loading API. So actual one is, actual interfaces is there. So for serialized and deserialized instruction sequences, so we we make uh, we provide a uh, uh, Ruby virtual machine uh, Ruby VM instruction sequence to binary method, and uh, so this method returns a uh, uh, compiled binary in a string format in a string object. So you can, you can store such a string to the, uh, some files or compress to or send anywhere. anywhere. And load from binary uh, method uh, gets a, a binary, uh, accepts the binary strings. So it con uh, it's loads, uh, deserialize uh, such a compiled binary and make return the instruction sequence objects. Uh, and also, uh, Ruby virtual machine instruction sequence load uh, instru load Isaac method, uh, so is a uh, uh, key key of these primitives. So calling this method at every loading time, uh, so interpreter calls this method uh, if it is defined, and this method should return near or loaded instruction sequence. So I explain more. So this is the same figure, same picture of uh, instruction, uh, the, the deserialize, serialize and deserialize. So this, 
this part, we use a uh, two binary method. And this part, uh, we need to use a load from binary method. And also, uh, we use, we can make, we can use a load ISAC instructions. Uh, sorry, load ISAC methods. So before, uh, so normal, is, uh, normal flow of the require is he here. So interpreter find a, uh, find a x dot rb. So we need, if we need to uh, load x dot rb, then uh, invoke the uh, internal function load internal. So this, this function uh, pass and compile and make instruction sequence objects. However, the if we have uh, uh, we define the instruction uh, Isaac load Isaac methods, then uh, so this method is called a, a every time. So if this method can generate the uh, instruction sequence objects, uh, it's return so using such uh, so deserialize deserialize methods, so we can. Uh, we can skip such a, a pass and compile. So if we, uh, so if there is no uh, compile binary and the, this method cannot be, uh, cannot generate the instruction sequence, so fall back to the uh, normal flow. So again, I, so we introduced two, uh, such a, uh, two types of uh, Prim, uh, primitives. So with these primitives, you can you can make uh, your own precompilation uh, controller or ahead of time compiler. So making a uh, uh, so I can finish this presentation so with, with such a primitives, but it is too difficult to understand. To try, it, it is too difficult to try such a precompilation. So I. I made a Yomi Komujem, so sample implementation precompilation controller. So this is so this shows again. So we need to uh, we need to define when to store. So same directory or same directory or a specific directory or database. So uh, so we have several options. So by the way, so I asked about that with, uh, to Max. So he said that he doesn't like uh, storing binaries in same directories because he wants to keep source directories clean. So, so he rejected, uh, so uh, at that time, he rejected the Python and the Rubinian's way. So making the, uh, the, the compiled binary to same directories. So yomikomu gem is a, uh, a Japanese word. Uh, yomikomu is a Japanese word, meaning the loading and reading. So maybe this gem is uh, highly educational, so you can understand, you can remember the Japanese word. So I showed that uh, there are many, many options, so where to st store and when to store, when to compile. So I implemented many things I can, I can imagine. So the usage of Yomikom gem is very easy. So com set configuration with environment variables. So we need to define the uh, storing option, uh, storage option, and so on. Also, we need to invoke the, uh, the compiler, so compile the Ruby source code to the uh, compiled binary. So I prepare the kakidas gem. So kakidas means Kakidas is Japanese word means uh, write or output. So you only need to invoke this uh, directory, uh, this this Kakidas command with uh, with script or directory options. So if you specify the the directory, then the so all of files contained by in this directory are compiled to somewhere the the configurations say. And so this is a, a how to how to make a compiled binary. And Rust, so at Rust we need to require the compile, require or we need to 
load the compiled binary. So uh, you only need to uh, you only need to put uh, this line. So com uh, so require Yomi com. So it is very easy to use it. So only this require Yomi com uh, enable to uh, loading the uh, all of loading. Uh, all of lo uh, required to the lo so loading from uh, compiled binary, if it can. So Yomikom supports several strange stages. So FS, FS2, FS, GZ, FS, G2, GZ, DBM, Cloud file. So FS is uh, uh, the this one. So make a uh, uh, compiled binary to the same directory of Ruby script, and FS2. Uh, Make a uh, Ruby binary to the, the specified directory, and DBM is uh, uh, puts a uh, compiled binary to the uh, database. So using DBM, and also uh, I introduced a flat file or uh, data structure. So this is similar to the database, but it only uh, com uh, con puts a flat file. So we can so. The, many, the advantage of this uh, type is we can locate binaries in loading order. So it means that uh, so we, if we require x and y and z, then we can locate x and y and z to the flat file. So maybe it's, it's increase the locality of uh, the, the such a files. But it doesn't support rewriting. So it means that uh, if we uh, decompile the Y dot RB, so it it will it will be uh, uh, it is not supported. So when you want to uh, recompile the Y dot RB, you need to uh, uh, you need to delete this flat file and uh, compile again. Co need to compile again. And in, in Yomikom supports GZ compression for compiled binaries. So FS GZ FS two GZ flat file GZ. So it's Try to do that, and also uh, Yomikom uh, support automatic compilation support. So uh, this uh, this option uh, enable to compile the uh, the Ruby source code at required uh, timing. So it is similar to Python and Rubinius do, and you don't need to use Kakidas command anymore. So. I want to demonstrate uh, some tools, but I have no time, so skip this one. So please ask me if you want to ask, uh, see the, the demonstrations. So evaluation results. So we, uh, so at first I want uh, I prepare the uh, four files from standard libraries. So these 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 uh, files are very weak. So it is a uh, good good demonstration for the uh, as a micro benchmark. So using these features, so uh, load, loads, uh, so this is the execution time of require 1,000 times of the requiring each files. So for example, uh, the, uh, on the, uh, this, this line, so the execution time is five, five, five times faster. So it's very great, I think. But the bad, uh, so bad point is that uh, nobody wrote this one yeah. five <laughs> one thousand times. So this is only a micro benchmark. So and the uh, compiled binary is not so smart. So this is, so the bi binary file is very big. So five times bigger and bigger. So this is not mature it's file format. So if you can hack, uh, if you can reduce uh, the such a File size, so such a uh, proposal is well, very very common. So maybe you have uh, interest about the uh, uh, latest performance. So using Yomi Com Gem and uh, invoke the uh, uh, late mine uh, using the Rails R and commands. So this execution time is uh, so uh, without boundary. Without boundary means a. Uh, 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 so, it not uh, after using uh, after invoking the, this uh, Rails R command. 
か。So this, this、uh, execution time is、uh, about two, six, two, six seconds. And using this Yomicom gem, so it improves the performance. Improves the performance, but not so drastic, not so big performance improvement. So, checking the、uh, loading time, so the loading time, so parser and compile time, so we can reduce the, the such time two times faster. Or using the lazy loading techniques, it shows uh, uh, so great improvement. However, so it means that the loading time is very Uh, reduced, but the total, so total loading time is not so、uh, reduced. So it means that the loading, so compile, compiling time and、uh, compiling time is not so big matter. So the, I, I hope that you understand <laughs> this. So using the flat file,、uh, file, system, uh, flat file storage option. So, it is not so great、uh, improvement on that. So, there, there is、uh, some improvements, but not so great improvements. So, it means that、uh, we can, we can、uh, reduce the compile, compile, and,、uh, compile time, loading time, but the most of、uh, time is、uh, so、60 or 70%、uh, percent of execution time is consumed by other things. So, maybe、uh, defining method and so on. So, we need to,、uh, we, need, we have many, many future works. So, reduce the memory consumption, I don't try,、uh, I don't measure it. And also, we need to reduce the binary files, by, by compiled binary size. And、uh, as I introduced,、uh, so the uh, main uh, overhead of Boot time is not so, not a compile time, so we need to optimize the such a、uh, met so、method definition or、uh, making some initialized code. So, today's my talk was、uh, pre pre compilation primitives on Ruby 2.3 and、uh, Yomi introduced Yomi Gem and the evaluation results. So, the myth was.、Uh, So, if we have an AOT compiler, then the boost, boost, boot time issues will be solved. And the fact is not so easy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so the, this is a, a message from me. So, please enjoy making your own Yomi Kong Gem utility. So, you can make your own pre compilation tools. So, this, this is your turn. So, thank you so much. Thank、you